It's our story. Mark Johnson, Atlanta, Georgia. The most profound was when I moved to Denver. Um, Before you start, I, I just need to make a note that I forgot to make, but every time I ask a question, if you could just slightly rephrase it. Ah, okay. An early actor. Slightly rephrase it. Have I ever felt any, or what, you know, what's my first experience um, with disability discrimination? Or just, just earlier, the, the biggest one. Uh, my biggest one. Yeah, the well, the one, that actually, the one that had the most profound impact on me was, was um, not having access to um, express bus service in Denver. Um, meaning their local buses that stopped at every stop had lifts on them. But the express vehicles that um, transported people from, you know, the suburbs, which I lived in, um, didn't. So I could take the, you know, the fixed route and take over an hour, or I could take the express bus, if I could have got on it, and take 20 minutes. And so that was, and I started going to meetings and talking to people about, well, what's been done about this and what can we do about this, and I'd like to be able to take express service. And that's when, uh, you know, the, the board of directors out there had come to the conclusion that they knew what was best for people like me and they had no desire to put lifts on express buses. Now that changed, you know, and ultimately, you know, um, it was kind of a proud moment to be able to get on an express bus that had a lift. But, you know, that was the first time I'd been, had been thrown in my face, you know, I mean, I had, uh, well, I'd been, actually before that, I'd been to movie theaters where, that were built under building codes but had steps. And people said, well, I can carry you down, you know, and um, said, well, help me understand, I don't want to be carried down. <laughs> you know, I want to be able to, you know, there needs to be a ramp or a lift here. So that was, a, that was the first one in Charlotte. But the big one that really probably, you know, really accelerated my growth was, you know, the transit issues. You know, I, could I, you know, going out to the same bus stop everybody else was going out to and getting on it? And why wasn't that available to someone like myself who uses a wheelchair? The It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.